You have won. You have won again. Hallelujah. You have won again. Father God in heaven, we come before you right now, God, asking you for this and understanding of God of your word. Amen. Watch over us, protect us, keep us safe. Father, learn, study, get closer to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I am reading the book of Revelations. This here was given to St. John, okay? I am on chapter 18. I will be reading the King James Version um, Bible and also the Amplified Bible as well, okay? Um, now, let's start praying and ask God for wisdom and understanding, okay? Each and every time you open your Bible to read, you want to pray, and you want to ask God for wisdom and understanding of the word. Amen. Okay. Chapter 18, King James Version, verse 1 says, And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lighting with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen. Is fallen and it's is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her. Decency. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sin and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven and God have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, fill to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen and I am no widow. And shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning. And famine. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. As I read this, God is showing me how people that commit to being evil... Okay, commit to living sinful, worshiping the devil, tend to get other people, communicate with other people to draw them closer to the devil. And that's something that they have to do. Mm. It's all pertaining to the mark of the beast. Mm. Wow. And the king of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city of Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come, and the merchant of the earth shall weep and mourn over here, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. 
the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen <clears throat> and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood. And all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of the most precious wood and of brass, iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wines and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. And the, fir and the fruits of that thy soul lusted after or departed from thee. And all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. And a merchant of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. And I'll go over here to the Amplified Bible. And let's see what it say over there. The right fruit and delicacy for which your soul long have gone from you and your luxuries and dainties and your elegance and splendor are lost to you. Never again to be recovered or experienced. The dealers who handled these articles, who grew health wealthy through their business, with her will stand a long way off in terror of her doom and torment, weeping and grieving aloud and saying, Alas, alas, for the great city that was robbed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, bedecked and glittering with gold, with precious stones and with pearls. Okay, so let's go back to the 17 says, for in one hour so great riches has come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the companies and ships and sailors, and as many as trade by sea stood afar off, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads, and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, alas, alas. The great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour is she made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great milestone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city, Babylon, be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And a voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsmen of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of a milestone shall be heard no more at all in thee, and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and all the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee, for thy merchant were the great men of the earth, for by the sorceress were all nations to see, and in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 19 says, and after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah. 
salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God for true and righteous are his judgment for he have judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again, they said, Alua, and her smoke rose up from, rose up forever and ever. And the 420 and the four and 20 elders and the four beasts fell down and worshiped God that sat on the throne saying, Amen. Hallelujah. And a voice came off the throne saying, praise our God, all ye his servants and you that fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude and as the voice of many waters and as the voice of mighty thundering saying, hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent reign. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife have made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he said unto me, right, blessed, are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, these are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren to have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness. He doeth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon the white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth the sharp sword that with it, should, with it he should smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod and iron. And he treaded the, the winepress of, um, of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty God. And he had of his own and he had on his vesture on his high, on his thigh a name written king of kings and lord of lords and lords the lord and i saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of the mighty men and the flesh of the horses of them that sit on them and the flesh of men, both free and bond. both small and great. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and, 
and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. <laughs> Let's go back slow. And the beast was taken, and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstones, and the remain were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceed out of this mouth. And all the fowls were filled with this with their flesh. Now I read on yesterday that um they do have to steal to the Lord's will. Okay, and you going out of the hell to torment, you're gonna be tormented. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Everybody that died don't go to heaven. And we got to pray. Okay. That we enter not into temptation and that we are aligned with the word of God and we live in Christ like. We repent. We believe in Jesus. Okay. So we can make it to heaven. And all of this is this, this, it's like you are being described with angels and hell. It's like, even when it comes down to the mark of the beast, and I will be talking about the mark of the beast soon, because a lot of people don't know the mark of the beast. Okay, some people think it's barcodes and they think it's um, vaccine, vaccines and things that it's not. Now let's read the Amplified Bible. It breaks down everything King James said. You will understand the, the Amplified Bible. Amplified chapter 18 says, Then I saw another angel descending from heaven, possessing great authority, and the earth was illuminated with his radiance and splendor. And he shouted with a mighty voice, She is fallen. Mighty Babylon is fallen. She has become a resort and dwelling place for demons, a dungeon haunted by every loathsome spirit and a ball for every filthy and desolate, dis stable bird. For all nations have drunk the wine of her passionate unchastity, and the rulers and leaders of the earth have joined with her in committing fornication, idolatry, and the businessmen of the earth have become rich with the wealth of her excessive luxury and want one. Wantonness, wantonness, and then heard another voice from heaven saying, come out from her, my people, so that you may not share in her sins, neither participate in her plays. Come out. Come on about a sin. For her iniquities, her crimes and transgressions are piled up as high as heaven of God has remembered her wickedness and her crimes and calls them up for settlement. Repay to her what she herself has paid to others and doubled her doom in accordance for her in a cup she mixed for others. To the degree that she glorified herself and revealed in her want living deliciously and luxuriously to so that measure imposing her torment and anguish and tears and mourning since her heart she boasts i am not a widow as a queen on a throne 
I sit and I shall never see suffering or experience sorrow. So shall her plagues, affliction, calamities come thick upon her in a single day. Pestilence and anguish and sorrow and famine. And she shall be utterly consumed, burned up with fire. For mighty is the Lord God who judges her. And the rulers and the leaders of the earth who joined her in her immorality, idolatry, and luxury with her will weep and beat their breasts and lament over her when they see the smoke of her conflagration. They will stand a long way off in terror of her torment and they will cry, Woe, alas, the great city, the mighty city. Babylon is in one single hour, your doom, judgment has overtaken you. And earth businessmen will weep and grieve over her because no one buys their freight cargo anymore. Their merchandise is of gold, silver, precious stones and pearls, of fine linen, purple, silk, and scarlet stuff. All kinds of scented wood, all sorts of articles, ivory, all varieties of objects of costly wood, bronze, iron, marble, okay, of cinnamon, spices, incense, ornaments, and perfume and fragrances of wine and olive oil, fine flour and wheat of cattle and sheep, horses in conveyance and and of slaves, the bodies and souls of them, the ripe fruits, and delicacies for which our souls alone have gone for you, and all your luxuries and dainties, your elegance, splendor, are lost to you, never again to be recovered or experienced. The dealers who handled these articles, who grew wealthy through their business with her, will stand a long way off in terror of her doom and torment, weeping and grieving aloud and saying, Alas, alas, for the great city that was robed, robbed in fine linen, that was robed in fine linen in purple and scarlet, bedecked and glittering with gold, with precious stones and with pearls. Because in one single hour, all the vast wealth has been destroyed, wiped out, and all ship captains and pilots and navigators and all who live by suffering, the crews and all who ply, ply their trade on the sea, stood a long way off and exclaimed, as they watched the smoke of her burnings. What city could be compared to the great city? And they threw dust on their heads as they wept and grieved, exclaiming, woe and a loss for the great city. Where all who had ships on the sea grew rich through her extravagance from her great wealth. In one single hour, she has been destroyed and has become desert. Rejoice, celebrate over her, O heaven, O saints, people of God, and apostles and prophets, because God has executed vengeance for you upon her. Then a single powerful angel took up a boulder like a great milestone and flung it into the sea crying with such violence shall Babylon the great city be hurled down to destruction and shall never again be found and the sound of the harpists and minstrels and flute players and trumpets turds, trumpeters shall never again be heard in you and no skilled artist of any craft shall ever again be found in you. And the sound of the milestone shall never again be heard in you. And never again shall be light of a lamp shine in you. And the voice of the bridegroom and bride shall never be heard in you again. For your businessmen were the great 
and prominent men of the earth and by your magic spells and poisonous charms all nations were led astray seduced and deluded and in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and all those who have been slain, slaughtered on earth. Okay. 19 Amplified says, after this, I heard that sound like a mighty shout of a great crowd in heaven. It's claiming hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Salvation and glory, splendor and majesty and power, dominion and authority belong to our God because his judgment, his condemnation and punishment, his sentence of doom are true and sound and just and upright. He has judged, convicted, pronounced, sentenced and doom the great and notorious harlot, idolatrous, who corrupted and demoralized and poisoned the earth with her lewdness and adultery, idolatry. And he has avenged a visit on her, the penalty for the blood of his servants at her hand. And again, he they shouted, hallelujah, praise the Lord. The smoke of her burning shall continue to ascend forever and ever through the eternities of the eternities. Then the 24 elders of the heavenly serene and the four living creatures fell prostrate and worship, paying divine honor to God who sits on the throne saying, Amen, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Then from the throne there came a voice saying, Praise our God, all you servants of his, you who reverence him, both small and great. After that, I heard what sounded like the shout of a vest thrown, like the boom of many pounding waves, and like the royal ter terrific and mighty peals of thunder, explaining hallelujah, praise the Lord, for now the Lord our God, the open. Omnipotent, the all ruler reign. Let us rejoice and shout for joy, escorting and triumphing. Let us celebrate and ascribe to him glory and honor for the marriage of the Lamb at last has come, and his bride has prepared herself. He has been permitted to dress in fine, radiant lean, linen. Dazzling in white, for the fine linen is signifies, represents the righteousness, the upright, just, and godly living deeds and conduct and right standing with God of the saints, God's holy people. Then the angel said to me, this is John saying, the angel said to me, write this down, blessed, happy to be envied are those who are summoned, invited, called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, Father, these are the true words, the genuine and exact declarations of God. Then I felt prostrate at his feet to worship, to pay divine honor to him. But he restrained me and said, refrain, you must not do that. I am only another servant with you, your brethren who have accepted the who has accepted and hold the testimony born by Jesus. Worship God, okay? Don't worship me, worship God. Don't give me the praise, give it to God. You understand? <laughs> Nobody ain't got time for... Mm -mm. For the substance essence of the truth revealed by Jesus is the spirit of all prophecy the vital breath the inspiration of all inspired preaching and interpretation of the divine will be purpose including both mine and yours after that I saw heaven open and behold a white horse appeared the one who was riding it is called faithful 
trustworthy, loyal, incorruptible, steady, and true. And he passes judgment and wages war in righteousness, holiness, justice, and uprightness. His eyes blaze like a flame of fire. And on his head are many kingly crowns. Didims. And he has a title name inscribed, which he alone knows or can understand. He is dressed in a robe, dyed by dipping in blood. And the title by which he is called is the word of God. And the troops of heaven, clothed in fine linen, dazzled and clean, followed him on white horses. From his mouth goes forth a sharp sword with which he can smite, afflict, strike the nations, and he will shepherd and control them with the staff, scepter, rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath and indignation of God the all ruler, the almighty, the omnipotent. And on his garment robe, on his high, on his thigh, he has a name, title inscribed, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Then I saw a single angel stationed in the sun, lights, and with a mighty voice shouted to all the birds that fly across the sky, Come gather yourself together for the great supper of God, that you may feast on the flesh of rulers, the flesh of generals and captains, the flesh of powerful and mighty men, the flesh of horses, their riders, and the flesh of all humanity, both free and slave, both small and great. Then I saw the beast and the ruler and the leader of the earth with their troops mustered to go into battle and to make war against him who is mounted on the horse and against his troop. And the beast was seized and overpowered with him, the false prophet who was, who in his presence had worked wonders and performed miracles by which he led astray those who had accepted or permitted to be placed upon them that stamp mark of the beast and those who paid homage and gave divine honor to his statue. Both of them were hurled alive in the fiery lake that burns a blazers with brimstones and they rest and the rest were killed with the sword that issues from the mouth of him who is mounted on a horse and all the birds fed ravishly and glutted themselves with their flesh. Wow. Wow. For the kingdom of heaven is near. Wow, that is Bible study. That is Bible study. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for keeping us safe, protecting us as well. For letting no weapon form against us prosper. Thank you for your um, understanding, your wisdom of your word, for being with us as well. God, we ask you to continue to protect us, lead us, and guide us. Continue to draw us all closer to you. Your purpose be fulfilled in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. Bible study. So that is what, um, with... 
from John. So Revelation to St. John. And he talks about what he sees, okay, in, in heaven, okay, and what's going on. He talks about that, okay. Um, this is, a, that's a lot. Mm -mm -mm. So we got to be careful. Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually as well. Not to connect with people that is not Christ-like. Okay? Those of you that are not saved and would like to be saved, you can do it now. You don't have to wait till later. You can do it now. Amen. Repeat after me. God, forgive me of my sins, knowingly and unknowingly. And I forgive myself of my sins, knowingly and unknowingly. God, I do believe that Jesus died and he rose. I do believe in Jesus. Lord, come into my heart. Come into my heart today. Come in to stay. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. Those of you that said that you are now saved, get you some friends that are Christ-like that is going to encourage you, pray with you, and for you, and that's going to tell you what thus says the Lord. Okay, get in a good Bible-based church. All right, if you're having a hard time finding a church, pray and ask God to lead you to a church that's going to feed you. Okay? In the meantime, read your Bible. If it's just one sentence, one chapter, one book, one paragraph, if you're just praying, God, what is it that you want me to read? And you open it up and God show you what it is that you, whatever you do, get closer to God. Get to know more about God. Okay. Jesus. All right. Repent. All right. Of your sins, things that you did wrong in God's eyes. All right. Repent. God loves you so much. If you ask him to forgive you, he will forgive you. You forgive yourself also, okay? And you let it go and you let God and you learn from that situation. So you won't keep doing it over and over and over and over and over and over, okay? Also, forgive those that hurt you also. Pray for one another and also pray for you, Okay? Pray, 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 especially when things are going good and when things are going bad, okay? Don't fall and don't crumble. Pray. And stand strong, all right? And to trust God. There's no problem too big, too small that he cannot fix. Let God bless you and give you your heart's desires. Surrender it all. All, all, all. Be blessed in Jesus. Amen. Be blessed in Jesus. Thank you for joining me. Hey, Geneva.